US, the UK, Australia, and Canada. We wanted to provide insight into postpartum care delivery and conduct a literature review on maternal health statistics and services. And what we found was concerning. But first, I'd like to introduce you to Grace. Grace is a patient of mine with a long-standing history of pain and impairment that was, that was exacerbated by birth with complications and left her unable to perform job tasks or care for her newborn. And Grace is not alone. The statistics are rather staggering. I'll share just a few of those with you. 87% of women experience pain with first postpartum vaginal intercourse, and women with C-sections are more likely to experience that pain. 66% of women with diastasis rectus abdominis also suffer from stress urinary incontinence, fecal incontinence, or prolapse, and half of women experience pelvic organ prolapse with bladder and bowel dysfunction. And if you're a black woman, you suffer disproportionately. Your, your death rate is four times higher for you and two times higher for your newborn, and you're less likely to get postpartum care. The World Health Organization acknowledges that we are having a maternal health crisis, particularly in the postpartum, and statistics gathered over more than 20 years allow us to make this conclusion. The prosperity of a nation depends on the well-being of its mothers. And right now, according to the statistics we found, our nations are not faring well. Globally, we found a lack of accessible, affordable, person-centered care with massive costs to person and system. This crisis is avoidable, and you are the change agent. My colleagues and I propose the following, which I consider to be non-negotiable musts. First, we need to change our language from normal to common. These injuries are not normal, but they are common. We need to increase visibility of women's health physical therapists by going direct to public. We're doing an inadequate job from a public health and primary care perspective. Meanwhile, there's a multi-billion dollar industry marketing incontinence products to younger and younger populations. And we need to abolish stigma. There's a social cost driven by the disparity to be found across healthcare systems with one commonality. There's no standardized care across these health healthcare systems, even locally. My patient, Grace, suffered as a result of not having these elements in place. Her husband wondering why she was in pain but no one else seemed to be that had given birth, and her doctors telling her, well, there's nothing wrong with you. Grace's providers told her for over a period of 14 years to live with her pain and to have a glass of wine and relax, never referring her to PT even once. This is not acceptable. We conclude that caring for the world's caregivers is an urgent matter and includes three action statements. We are, we can, and we must. We are patient advocates first. We need to be looking at prevention strategies, identification of injuries, and better reporting of those injuries and complications. We can establish rapport to empower and educate patients. When these things are done, they are proven successful as they were with grace. And we must, this is the difficult one, transform healthcare culture. PT as a maternal team member is considered best care practice and is universally accepted, but we're not seeing it. To do this, we need to fight to make PT care standard with pre and postnatal screenings. We need to identify barriers to access and referral with a biopsychosocially driven model. In three short visits with Grace, she made more progress than she had in 14 years in seeing me for physical therapy. In review, global support exists. We need to tap that support. Our model of care is achievable and can be physical therapist led. We need to target undergraduate and postgraduate training including research to stimulate flagging care pathways. And the missing piece to this is none of this is possible without policy creation. We need physical therapists willing to serve in, gov in our governments at a national level. You guys are the change agent and have a big role to play in that. And finally, I'm happy to report that Grace is now thriving. She is pregnant with her second child, and she credits PT 